Welcome to another edition of Cooking at Home with the Caprios. Today, again, we have the internationally renowned philanthropist, chef, entrepreneur, and still a dear friend, that's Todd the, English. That's the most important thing to me. And Thank as, you. And as, <laughs> Thank always, you Josh. as always, Todd assisting us yeah. is my son, David. <laughs> David, step right in here. <laughs> Thank you. David All right, David. So today. What are we doing today? Pizza, pizza. What do you think? Be, right. we, pizza. 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 As you said, right? You told me how you say it again? Now, we're having, we're making, Todd's making pizza today. But I explained earlier that in Providence, from the Little Hill section, Little Italy section of Providence called Federal Hill, the old time is referred to it as Abitz. So we're having pizza, yeah. or if you right. come from Federal Hill, <laughs> you're having Abitz. Abitz, okay. Abitz. I love it, I love it. That's <laughs> what kind of Abitz are we having That's a more fun way to say it. Okay, so today, again, going seasonal. These little beautiful jewels that are oh, in, look yeah, at the, like look at these in season now. Ho, oh, oh, ho, look at those beauties. All right, so I'm making one of our signature dishes that we do at my restaurant, Figs, in, in Boston, and most of my restaurants, even at Olive's. It's a fig and prosciutto pizza, where it has a fig jam, has gorgonzola, and then maybe, oh yeah, yeah. It's, Figs yeah. and prosciutto. Yeah, well, it's a classic combination. Been, they've been making it that, that way for years in Italy, and they always do that. Okay, so what we do here, we start with a nice pizza dough, all right, uh -huh. and... Uh -huh. mm. How much yeah. dough is that? That's about um, about four ounces of dough. About four ounces, yeah. okay. Yeah, all right. Can you uh, yeah, four or five ounces. Flatten and then it down we to just about a quarter of an inch? It. Yep, get it nice and flat, you know, mm -hmm. about the size of the peel. This is going to be a little more, you know, I don't make it quite as thin because I like the chew of this and I like the way it works with the figs mm -hmm. and the gorgonzola. Now, what we do, one thing about pizza I always say is less is more, all right? So what I do, I want you to help me here, Judge. Just put, we put, we put a little bit of this all the way over just that and then a little bit of the jam all the way around. Oh, the pizza. I can do this. Yeah. It's like when I was working in the restaurant when I was in college. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do this. All right, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So the way we made this is I actually took the fresh figs and cooked it down with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And all we're right, and this. a little bit of honey in there as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Enough. Yeah, let's spread that out a little bit around the edges there. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so uh, again, spread that around. All right, we want to make, go right to the edge. And that's amazing. Yeah, you got, and you want that nice, the juices from the figs and everything on there, okay? And what I'm doing is this beautiful okay. mixture of gorgonzola here. Mm -hmm. Put that on, okay? And that'll melt into the figs. <laughs> oh boy, wait till you try this, Judge. This is an incredible combination. Okay, I, again, I didn't, I didn't make this up. The Italians have been doing this for years and years. Fig and gorgonzola, and so amazing. What's in the cheese spread? So the, this cheese spread, I just whipped it up with, I whipped two different uh, gorgonzolas, so do, gorgonzola dolce, mm -hmm. and, a, and, and a typical drier mm -hmm. gorgonzola. One's a little more pungent, one's more creamy. Mm -hmm. I like the texture and the, the, that, it, that it goes it goes at. And I would mm -hmm. also do a little parsley on there. How far back does yeah. this go in Italy? Uh, you know, is this, this is, maybe? I think so, you know, as long as they've been making gorgonzola cheese, <laughs> and I know the figs have been growing there for a long time, so. I'm going to go with that, Judge. All right, so we're okay. going to put this in. All right. There we go. You actually have a restaurant named after the main ingredient. I do. Figs is, you know, and um, I'm, you know, I love, I, sorry, I love Mediterranean cooking. And, and, you know, the two things that are prominent in Mediterranean are figs and olives. So my restaurant's olives and figs. I've been my, you know, my jewels and my, uh, my love of my life. And they have make such great food. And if you think about anywhere figs and olives grow, it's beautiful food. How and beautiful many, people. How many restaurants have you been involved in? I've been involved in uh, over a hundred, hundred and <laughs> hundreds. Yeah. And wait, all point. of the United States. All of the United States. States. Overseas. 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 Yeah, we went international. We've gone to we've gone to Asia. We've gone to, to the Middle East. Uh, and you know, I've I've always really enjoyed being able to to travel because I think traveling. Look at so look you, how your pizza. So you know doing. a thing or two. <laughs> 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 I've just I, I think I've actually just been, just from the experience of moving around and. Eating thing, different things, and I think tra travel is probably one of the best teachers of how to learn and how to, you know, explore and see new things. And you know, the world is full of so many amazing things, so it's just incredible. Now, Todd, if people aren't fortunate enough to have an old oven like this, yes. how can they cook this? Yeah, if they don't. Obviously, you know, they can. What I do is I turn my oven. You know, if it's a regular conventional oven, if you have a convection on there, a fan, turn that on. If you don't, turn the sheet pan upside down. Buy it. You can buy the um, terragonna stones that they sell, even at a, at a hardware store, put those down, it creates kind of that brick oven feel to it, so. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. 
Look how beautiful. Now, so great. Beautiful job with it. I think you did a great job with that. <laughs> I can already tell. I can smell it in there. The gorgonzola is like beckoning me to go in there. And how long are you going to cook that? For? We got a, probably another, you know, it, it really shouldn't be more than, you can see, I like to get the nice, nice, uh, a nice little char on there. That's classic. You get those little blisters, so the Todd, smokiness of it. the ingredients. Yeah. You have figs, you have honey. Yeah. You boil it down. It's more of a sweeter yeah, flavor. Yeah, it is, but it's not, you know, you use actually the natural sweetness of the figs. And I also mm -hmm. use dried figs sometimes, but the natural sweetness of the figs uh, and just a little bit of honey just to bring that out and make it kind of that little like saucy, syrupy flavor. And, and, and the cheese that you use, you notice it's not spread out like, yeah. like the traditional pizza that people think of. Right, so right, right. What's the idea behind clumping the cheese? Well, you know, you just you don't want too much of that on there, you know? <clears throat> oh, look at that. Nice and crispy. Oh, that's good. All right. Beautiful. And we'll take this that over. That's good. All right. And mm. we're gonna, this is the best part. Wait do you see this. <laughs> Put this down mm. on the board. Like that. Look at that. So delicious. So amazing. We have some guests here whose mouths are watering. <laughs> we have Stephen and his mom, Steve Feinberg. We have Natalie yeah. and Mike. Yeah. And we have my granddaughters. Yeah, the whole right? gang. Everybody's here. And we have I Bella. Whenever you come here, whenever you come here, the Caprio house is full of family, which I love. My grandson Frank. I know. <laughs> <laughs> my grandson John. We've got them all here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big day here. Another day, just another day at the Caprio. So this is thin cut prosciutto. Yes, right? this is a prosciutto di Parma. Prosciutto di Parma, which is a 24, a, 24 year, um, a month age. 24 month age, mm -hmm. and you're, yeah. you're putting it on, yeah, obviously uh, afterwards. What, put it on afterwards, raw. Okay, and that's just so that what happens is it just warms lightly. Okay, mm -hmm. there's a bit of the. Well, oh, that's interesting. So yeah. you place the prosciutto on yeah. after it's cooked. Yeah. Okay. A little virgin olive oil, like that. And then I like to put a little bit of crust, little bit of crunch, little, little crunch, flavor. yeah, and a little crunch on there. And boy, is this! And this is, I, I put you say I put pepper on there. This is pepper crust, okay? So it gives that little peppery feel to it. And tang on so it. it's is and it, it's is it water crust. What? It, yeah, it's like a water crust. Yeah, water crust. Yeah. But you know, you don't need to do that. I mean, it's just something that I like <laughs> to, to add to that. Okay. <laughs> what do you now. think, Dave? Fantastic! Look at that. All right. <laughs> and the good thing about it, Todd, it's not perfectly round. It's, no. it's you know, it's it's certainly homemade. It's rustic. Yeah. I, I always say it, I never hot. trust around pizza. Right? Yeah. Because it's not, you don't want anything too perfect. You know, if it's too perfect, I think it's not going to have it right. And here we go. Josh. You can hear that crunch while you're cutting it. Yeah. You can see the flavors oozing together. It's really spectacular. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, this I is some gonna, great Italian pizza. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the first piece to Steve Feinberg. Steve Feinberg, come up here and taste this pizza. <laughs> Steve, uh, come around. Come on. Don't be shy. Steve Feinberg is the executive director of the Rhode Island Film Festival. Oh, wow. He's our special Don't, guest today. Abu Danza. Mm -hmm. Abu Danza. <laughs> <laughs> Good Thank work. You. Good Looks work, Steve. beautiful. Thank you. Judge, there you go. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, anybody else? <laughs> oh, anybody. Come on. <laughs> Come on up, guys. Marissa, Mike. Mike, Gemma, get up here. Come on up. Natalie, Gemma. Oh, Thank wait till you, you taste this, Nat. Anthony, come on up. You good? Mm. Come on up. Isn't that good? George, delicious. <laughs> All right. Just great. There you go. Todd, thank you so Again, much. Just thank great. you. My beautiful fig and prosciutto pizza. It's soup gorgonzola here at the Caprio Maison. I had another great day. Thank you so much, Judge. We'll see you next time. Very good. <laughs>